Tormento to Almazan. Silva with the pass. There's the drop, does not work. Almazan Papalo. Cunada was there. Castro na naman. And Castro unable to put it away. Nakarecover on the AC and it leads to this hit by Jaja Villena who's playing the game of her life today. A broken play there. Saktong sakto yung set na yon kay Jaja Villena. She was already at the net ready to block. Ang ganda ng kuhaya na yun. A lucky shot to start off our fourth set. Villena's got 11 points in the match. Not over for Cunada. Ang ganda ng approach ni Cunada, but that hit masyadong gigil from the back row. Sakto yung sakto dun sa white tape. It really bounced off the net. Too strong and too wide for Fermento. Fermento has been really putting, uh, committing a lot of errors from the service line. Pag pumasok yung serve niya, Anton, malakas. Means an ace, madalas misreceived ng Lady Knights. Pero after noon, she scores and uh, she commits an error. So it's a hard point to make up for their team. Melendres, Formento tossing it up. Drop ball para dito kay Almazan. Magalona, Almazan using the left hand. Castro, wala pa rin. Oh, that was a giveaway. Lucy is back to set, but with that set to the other side of the court, buti na lang din ready si Almazan. Maganda yung set Anton, ha? Ako, papaluin ko rin yun. <laughs> Maganda yung set. Abangan, abangan ko na lang yung uh, set ni De Guzman sa'yo. Gia De Guzman. It's still so weird hearing De Guzman. Dito na mapaisip ako, sino yun? <laughs> Tipid ko ba yun? I always forget. Old habits, hard to break. Formento to Almazan and sinabi mo kanina, Michelle, sana magsabay yung scoring ni Reyes at Almazan. Well, guess what? They have both combined for they have combined for 30 points now. 15 points each. At may kasunod pa. Letran right now just looks shell-shocked. Coach Michael calling for a double violation and uh, it, uh, it kind of looks like, you know, uh, well, the first referee said no, but pagka wala kasing uh, blocker, usually double talaga yun, Anton. Kapag ka diniin mo sa net, tas kinuha mo ulit, that's a double violation. Pero kung diniin mo sa block, meaning sa kamay nung, nung kalaban, Pwede mo pang kunin ulit and that's not considered as a first touch. But in that attempt, since walang kamay, yeah. it was towards the net. Kaya hanggang ngayon si Coach Michael nag-reklamo. Formento to Almazan again. Sunyada. Formento back to Almazan. Cunada, Formento, Almazan na naman! Steady defense from both teams, pero unang kumura, babagsak ang bola. You cannot leave Catherine Almazan without a touch. She has been consistent for EAC since the first set. Ang ganda ng floor defense ng parehong kukunan natin. Letran still struggling with that first ball. Back set. And Magalona is able to score. EAC on a scoring rampage. Coach Michael Inoferio wants to talk things over. 
Kapit pa. Hindi mo lang yan, ha? Maaga pa mo naman. Okay? Sige na, saan ka ba bumabla? Ano ba tinitignan mo sa binablak mo? Yung bola ang tignan mo kung nasaan. Ay, yung pagsabayan ka, hindi mo naman kakayanin. Mag-concentrate ka sa ginagawa mo. Tapos igalaw niyo yung mga paa nyo. Sa pa, isang ma. Hindi mo sa loob. Puro tayo inaabot lang, hindi natin nilalapitan ang bola eh. Hindi mo sa loob. Tara, tara. Bola si Sipa, abal tayo. Tough times right now for the Lady Knights of Coach Michael Inoferio. Hindi na rin inantay ni Coach Michael yung technical timeout. Talagang kailangan na mabigyan ng instruction ni mga players. And it's one point for them, saving them from the first technical timeout. Kanina pa, hindi nagko-connect yung setter at yung mga middle spikers nila, Anton. And when we were um, talking about yung first set, yung yeah. sinasabi natin, di ba, Melendres, Isar, we're getting all the sets, we're really doing a lot of uh, of damage towards EAC. Pero nung nawala si Musmi, nawala din yung connection sa gitna. Kunyada. Not over. See, just looking like the way more energetic team at this point. We will head to the technical timeout, and when we come back, Loy Carillo will report for the track. si Anne Gabriel at nandito tayo sa Paco Arena. Samahan niyo kung kilalanin pa ang iba sa mga players ng NCAA Season 97 Women's Volleyball dito lang sa ASMO. Kung papipiliin ka ng isang bahagi ng katawan ng mukha o katawan mo na gusto mong doblehin, ano ito? Patako na lang. Matako po. Mata sa TV. Huwag natin ni N ang defense sa block. Ituloy natin ang pag-cover yan. Ang naging reminder ni Team Captain, Sheena sa kanyang teammates sa kanilang huddle kanina. The Knights need to turn words into action na nga paalala ni Coach Michael. Ipakita daw ang kanilang character at i-replicate ang energy na nakita nila sa unang set na ipinanalo nila. At paalala nga ni Coach Mike, a clearer mind para ma-execute na talaga nila ang plays at mapakita ang totoong offense na kaya ng Lady Knights. Balik sa inyo. But you also have to wonder, no? You, what happened after that first set when San Musmi kept going to the middles and then uh, nagbago ng offensive strategy, EAC adjusting and Letran just falling behind. Ang dami din kasi talagang naging palita nung second set, Anton. Musi was taken out towards the end. Kunyada, pinalitan din. And then on the third set, they stuck with the new players. So, yung chemistry minsan pag nag-iba, hindi na na talaga nila ma-replicate yung nagawa nilang galaw nung first set. So, yun talaga yung nag-iba para sa tempo, sa galaw, ng spikers. Even the connection, kitang-kita natin, yung connection ng setter and spikers nila, nag-iba din. Kunyada. Seven points today for Chamberlain Kunyada. For Mento, Juliana. And Edma Muski liking that one. Second ball over for Muski. Nakasungkit din siya ng isa. Hindi pa ready yung depensa ng EAC doon, Anton. Not expecting and reading that ball to go over on the second attempt. Sails out and to the right. Palitan ng, ano eh, ng service errors oh, yung dalawang teams natin. Eh, no? So, both teams, pag pumasok yung mga services nila, Anton, ang gaganda eh. Pero minsan sa sobrang gigil nila dun sa service line. And yung takot na rin kasi naaalala mo yung mga errors mo. Nahihirapan nilang ipasok yan. And dyan sa service line, wala kang kalaban. It's just you and the ball.
Nalunod si Jaja Formento ay Jaja Villena rather Out of sync silang dalawa Malayo yung set na yon for Villena And another service error from the side of the Lady Knights at Ton Sunod-sunod yung mga players nila na nagko-commit ng service error. And with a four-point deficit, medyo mahirap talaga humabol kapag ikaw mismo sinisira mo yung momentum mo. This is going to be a free ball for Letran. Running attack for Melendres. Almasan punching it back to the Letran side and it goes long. Good communication there on the side of the Lady Knights, watching that ball sailing out. Akala ko babagsak na naman dun sa end line. It was a good intention from Almazan, but too strong on that hit. Naunahan ni Villena, itong si Castro. Jaja Villena able to sneak that one in. Take a look at it. Formento, pumasok si Villena. Pasok. Back quick for Jaja Villena. Great execution on that play. Formento gives it to Almazan. Cross court. Silva was ready. Castro. Almazan. And that's on the line. 18 points in the match for Kat Almazan. Ang ganda ng variation niya, Anton. Kanina, pinawar niya cross court. Nakuha ng libero. And now she goes down the line with no one there. Ang daming pwedeng gawin ng isang Catherine Almazan. Kaya kailangan talagang basahin sa block. At gumagawa din ang punto sa pamamagitan ng blocking. Catherine Almazan raising the roof. That's her 19th point. Am I correct, Anton? Yep, 19 you're right. points in today's match, and we're far from over. Ormeneta could not finish the play. Reyes. Ormeneta. And now this is the biggest lead of EAC. In this set, and hindi na ulit makapaghintay si Coach Michael Inoferio calls a timeout right before the technical timeout. Ulit-ulit yung mali natin eh. Tayo nyo kasi eh. Nararating na tayo eh. Hindi na natin alam ang ginagawa natin sa loob. Basta itinas natin, hindi na natin alam kung ano gagawin natin sa bola. Kung papaluhin ba o ihuhulog. Ayaw na, ayaw nyo na. Pwede kami natin dapat. Now let's see. Kung magigising itong Netran Lady Knights. At this point, Anton, tatanungin mo sarili mo, kaya ba? Musibla, uh, syempre, pero mahirap. You know, being seven points down, and uh, yung momentum ng EAC, everything is working for them right now. Their serves, their blocks, even their attacks are in sync. Na, ba, na ayos nila lahat ng kanilang galaw. Grabe, bubububos. Celebration on the court. Bumubuhos ng puntos. Ito ang EAC Lady Generals. And when we come back, Sofia Rodella will give us more from their side. Hi, I'm Jan Carlar and A. Cabrera, 21 years old, outside heater and team captain of the EAC Lady Generals. Niready ko yung sarili ko lagi bilang captain boy kung paano ko sila i-handle inside and outside the court. Physical and spiritual, paano ko makakatulong mentally din, paano ko makakatulong sa kanila. 
97. Dito lang sa GTV, we can clearly see that the EAC Lady Generals is on the roll. Pero paalala ni coach na they still need to minimize their errors dahil bilog ang bola. Anyone can win at this point. Makikita mo rin naman na Coach Rod is watching their every move at angin niya na the Lady Generals are hesitating. Kaya naman paalala niya na huwag silang mag-alanganin, magmadali and they can take their time. Through playing confidently today daw, they will be wiser. They will be able to play better and wiser. It is indeed a tough match, no? But the question here, Anton at Michelle, can the Lady Generals power through using coach reminders and knock off the Lady Knights? Yun na lang muna, balik sa inyo. Well, sa ngayon, nangangamoy back-to-back wins para sa EAC Lady Generals. That's what it's looking like right now. Letran sleepwalking in this fourth set. Babalik ang bola dito sa EAC. Cunyada. It's been a while since we've seen a Cunyada point, Michelle. If I'm not mistaken, Anton, that's her first point in this fourth set. And, um, talagang nakukulangan na rin talaga tayo ng atake. Nung third set pa lang, as, as uh, itong babalikan natin yung stats, more than double yung uh, lamang ng atake ng EAC. And hindi pa rin nalagawa ng solusyon ng Letran in this fourth set. Coach Rod Palmero calls a timeout. Ang sabi ko kanina, 1-1 oh, is 1-1. Anong ginawa? 3-1. Kailangan nila i-secure yung basa. Sabi ko sa inyo, okay lang yan. Pag hindi talaga kaya ang kontrolin, ang gagawin, ha? Tanggapin. Pero pagka may pagkakataong kontrolin, kontrolin nyo. Huwag nyo mamadaliin, ha? Lalo na yung basa. Una yung ating basa, ha? Okay? Ano? Tiwala, tiwala, tiwala. Okay, that was one of the most... Uh, kasi, you could, you could feel a hint of frustration in almost every Rod Palmero huddle this season because of how tough it's been for EEC. But he, he was, uh, I, I would say, that was a calm coach Rod in that last huddle. Parang panira lang talaga ng momentum, Anton. <laughs> kasi nakakailang puntos na itong kopo na ng Letran. But I agree with you. Kasi kanina, sa isang time out, mupo na talaga si Coach Rod, di ba? Si, si Fermento na yung nagbibigay ng instructions sa kanila. And Coach Rod was like, kaya nyo na yan, umupo na muna siya. But now, that time out not working in that last rally, patuloy pa rin kumukuha ng momentum itong kopo na ng Lady Knights. Kaya napatayo na rin si Coach Rod. Oo. Oh. That's what has been killing the Lady Knights here in this match. And it's a team effort, Anton. It's not just one person. The whole team ng Lady Knights have been committing these service errors ever since the first set. Lumabas na lang talaga ngayong set na to. Cunyada, walang sumabay na blocker. Formento, Torres. Way too strong on that hit. No blocker there for Reyes. Isa lang and she was going for the check ball. Pinalo niya palabas eh. Walang sumabay. No touch there. Straight to the net on that spike. Para kay Melendres. Seven points away are the EEC Lady Generals from back-to-back -back wins here in NCAA Season 97. Regalo na sana para kay Reyes. For Mineta. For Mento to Reyes. Celebration at the net there. Reyes with that down-the-line hit. Ang ganda nung reach niya na yun, Anton. Ibabaw na ibabaw yung pag-clip nung kamay niya with that power hit. Everything working right now for EAC. And the follow-through as well. Cunyata though, scores her 10th point of the match. Powerful hit by Cunyata. We 
need more of those. Lima lang to, Anton. Kaya, kaya pa. As long as they can serve well, they have to do everything perfectly right now if they want to catch up. Oh, yes! With a slam dunk of a spike. 17 points for Krisha Reyes. My goodness! Look at this! Straight down the line. And she is loving that kill, Anton. Love din natin yung spike niya na yon. Ang gandang panoorin. 17 points in the match for Reyes. What a duo. What a duo itong Reyes at Almazan. Both top five in the scoring here in this season. We have number three and number five before this match. And that's why everyone, Anton, is expecting more out of PAC because nasa you, eh. Yung top, yung dalawa sa top five scorers ng liga natin. Basta talaga sumabay yung iba nating mga teammates. Malayo ang mararating at uh, malaki ang potential ng EAC. Eh, kanina nga, well, in, in this match, si Jaja Villena, sinabayan sila, eh, Reyes, dinadagdagan pa yung kanyang scoring total. She has turned the Paco Arena into her own personal playground. Four points away are the EAC Lady Generals from win number two. How about that? Angeline Tormento. Who do you see here, Michelle? Is this Gia de Guzman? Is this Jem Ferrer? Is this Kim Fajardo? Looks like some of the best setters we've seen in all the leagues. For Mento, not that tall, Anton. Pero grabe yung kumpiansa niya dito sa game na to. And she deserves it. You know, being six points up, very confident na itong kupuna ng EAC. Fermento giving it to Almazan with yet another fadeaway spike at them. I don't know how she does that. Natataas naman ng defense ng Letran Anton. Hindi lang talaga sila nagkakaintindihan kung sino kukuha ng second ball like dun sa attempt na yun. Kung paano nila bubuhayin yung bola. You really can see the frustration in their faces right now. Musgi to Melendres. Formento. Ayan na naman. Ayan na naman yung pag-fade back ni Almazan eh. She's going kasi pag-fast set, sasalubungin mo sa taas yung bola. Pag bumuka yung set ng... na pag bumuka yung set ni Formento, wala kang choice. Nandun ka na eh. Tinituloy mo na lang. Pinahabol niya eh sa likod. For Mento to Almazan, the opposite side. For Mineta. For Mento again. Almazan, she's everywhere. She's on the right side, the left side. But it does not matter. Almazan will get the job done. 22 big points for Catherine Almazan. So she's had a 28-point outing. She's had a 24-point match. And today, she's got 22 big points. Catherine Almazan. What a show. Formento. Almazan, Marabam! And she breaks down the wall. Great team effort there by EAC Anton, but these two girls have showed up for today's game. Catherine Almazan and uh, Krisha Reyes consistently scoring for EAC in four sets. Another four-set game and another win. EAC's second win finally breaking away at the bottom against Letran Lady Knights. And this is what you were explaining kapag uh, natikman mo na yung tamis ng panalo. Gusto mong balikan at makuha ulit, maramdaman ulit. And that's exactly what the Lady Generals did today. 
despite losing in that first set as they take their second straight win. So they improve to two and five. Letran falls to the bottom of the team standings at one and six. Props to the team of coach Rod Palmero for the effort that they showed today. Letran really doing their best, but the consistency and the momentum lang talaga ng Lady Generals Anton. They started out slow, but every single set na bago nila yung mga kailangan nilang baguhin lahat ng errors na iayos nila. Kaya naman yung points nila from an extended second set up to the third and the fourth set, palayo na ng palayo at paganda na ng paganda yung chemistry nila sa loob ng court. Credit that to Fermento, pinag-usapan natin siya kanina at the start of our pre-game. And sabi natin, her sets really do a very, uh, really decide yung momentum ng Lady Generals. At yun ang nakita natin today, napagana niya si Porto, napagana niya si Villena, napagana niya si... Magalona on the opposite side. It was really a team effort and credits to both teams pagating sa depensa, Anton. Quality defense by the Letran Lady Knights and our EEC Lady Generals. A great volleyball game match for today. So there you have it, mga kapuso. A win by the EAC Lady Generals against the Colegio de San Juan de Letran Lady Knights. The set scoring 17-25, 26-24, 25-21, and 25-17. Parang bumagyo ng puntos eh, dito sa loob ng Papo Arena. Michelle, lalo na sa... Dynamic duo ng EEC Lady General. Siyempre, ang pinag-uusapan ko, si Chris Reyes at si Catherine Almazan na kasama natin ngayon. Catherine, grabe yung pinakita mo today. Alam mo, nang galing ka sa 28 points, yun yung pinakamataas na puntos sa kabuan ng tournament. Tapos nag-24 points ka. Today, naka-23 ka. Ano ba ang nangyari at uh, biglang umangat yung paglalaro mo after that uh, tough start para sa EAC? Uh, lagi po kasi sinasabi sa amin ni Coach na huwag ma-pressure sa game and ilaro lang yung natural sa amin and mag-enjoy lang po. Ikaw, Catherine, anong sikreto mo para maging consistent ka sa game mo? Dahil grabe yung uh, pang-basketball yung numero ni Catherine dito eh, Anton. You know, 28, 23, grabe. Ano yung sikreto mo? Yun nga po, lagi lang po sinasabi, maging matapang lang po, huwag matakot sa mga kalaban, ilabas lang yung natural na laro. Okay, Catherine, open spiker ka. Marami mga magagaling na open spiker dito sa Pilipinas, lalo na yung mga teammates ni Michelle Gumabaw. Alam mo, Eliza Valdez, Gemma Galanza, kung pumunta tayo sa opposite, may Tots Carlos. Sino ba ang idol ni Catherine Almazan? Sa outside hitter po talaga hmm. si Valdez po. Okay, sa ibang position? Si, ano po, Tots, sa Outs. Puro mga, puro mga teammates ni, <laughs> mga teammates ni, no? ano. Siyempre nakaka-proud lahat ng mga teammates natin. Mag-hi ka naman oh. sa mga teammates mo rin who are sending you hearts. I-mention mo daw sila. Uh, Binabati mo po yung EIC Women's Volleyball Team po. <laughs> na nandito lang? Nandito lang sa baba? 
Nakakatuwa, Anton, you know, pag pinapanood mo yung EAC, especially yung game nyo today, Catherine, yung energy nyo, napakataas nung umpisa pa lang. And kahit you, fall, you fell short in that first set, ano ba yung uh, naramdaman nyo after the, your first win na nag-carry over in today's game? So, Siyempre po, sobrang saya at nakakuha po kami ng panalo. Then, nisip po namin na kailangan kumuha pa hanggang sa dulo ng laro. Okay, Catherine. Binati mo na yung mga teammates mo sa baba. Baka may mga kababayan ka na nanonood, mga kaibigan. Ito na yung pagkakataon mo. Uh, binabati ko po yung mga family ko sa Nueva Ecija, yung ate ko sa Sambales, and yung mga friend ko po dyan sa Nueva Ecija po. Meron pa ba iba? Parang uh, kasi nagugulat ako ang konti ng, ng mga tao sa listahan mo. Yung iba kasi halos buong barangay binabati nila eh. Ayun po, barangay namin dyan sa Zorasi. <laughs> ayun na, ayun na. Okay, okay. Ito pa, uh, Catherine. So, 28 points, 24, 23. Ilan yung gagawin mo sa next game? Um, siguro po, mas tatasak mo. <laughs> Go for 30 ba to? Go for 30? <laughs> Alright, uh, we're not gonna put pressure on you, Catherine. Basta tuloy mo lang yan. Okay po. Alright, we have Catherine Almazan, one of our top scorers dito sa NCAA Season 97. And now, let's go to Sofia Rodelas, who is with Salva Losa, the libero of EAC. Maraming salamat, Anton. Right now, talagang andito si Alex. No? At magkakuntuhan kami tungkol sa mga Instagram na pinopost niya online. Pero right now, nag-prepare ang ating team about sa mga Instagram na post. At isashare o ibabahagi niya sa inyo kung ano nga ba ang mga meaning or when niya ito tinake. Now, let's look at ang unang photo natin dyan. Okay, parang medyo travel tayo dito, mga hashtag travel, no? Ano bang meaning ng photo na ito? Uh, first away ng mom ko galing sa ibang bansa. Wow. Nasa Cebu kami niyan. Ah, parang, parang nasa ibang, parang, parang nasa abroad dito, pero Cebu lang to. Cebu po. Wow, anong memory mo dyan na ito sa photo na ito? Uh, first time ko po makasama yung father-in-law ko. Oh, Apo. talaga naman kaya memorable. Pero kamusta ang pagpunta nyo sa Cebu? Maganda ba? May mga pinuntahan ba kayo din somewhere? Oh, marami. Tsaka masaya. Pero traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Yan talaga yung naging problem, no? Traffic. Pero let now, let's look to another photo, no? Nito ni Alex. Ayan, hashtag nature lover naman pala, no? Anong, anong idea? O talagang, anong, anong height mo dito? Parang six foot. <laughs> talagang sweet si Gunner na mga teammates niya dito. Talaga naman fashionable. Anong um, kwento behind this photo? Uh, pumunta po kami sa ano yan? Sa bukid nun po yan, sa Mindanao. Oh. Malay-balay bukid nun. Kami po lahat ng family ko sa side nila mama. Mm. Anong, anong thought process natin nung tinake natin yung photo na to? May mga pag-model-model ba tayo dito? OTD? <laughs> Talaga naman, no? Ang dami pa niyang poses. Pero now, let's look. So, ikan number three na ating photo na nakita sa Instagram niya, no? Now, let's look at it. Wow! Yan yung sinasabi ko. Model talaga. <laughs> Hindi natin mapigilan yung mga wow ng mga teammates niya. May mga tinatago pa lang mga model activities ng mga volleyball players natin. No? Pero now, let's talk, talk, talk me through sa photo na to. Ano? Um, galing kami Manila. Dito galing. Kakaawi ko lang sa bukid nun yan before mm -hmm. mag-pandemic. Kaya medyo long hair pa ako dyan. Ah, medyo long hair. Medyo, medyo long hair. <laughs> medyo, <laughs> medyo long hair pala, no? Talaga namang, ang dami na, namang set of skills talaga ng mga volleyball player natin. Mapapunta sa modeling, mapapunta sa mga pag-post. Wow! <laughs> sa mga pag-post, they can do it all. Pero bago ang lahat, Alex, kung may gusto ka bang batiin right at home, mag-hello ka sa iyong mga pamilya and anywhere, parang katulad yung mga pambuog barangay na bati natin dyan. Ah, binabati ko po yung family ko sa bukid nun. Hello pa, hello nai. So, yung mga, yung mama ko po na nasa ibang bansa. Hi ma, hi tito. Ayan lang po. Ay, kala ko mahaba. Kala ko isang buong buong barangay. Walang aso, pusa. Pero yun nga, no. Maraming maraming salamat, Alex. Thank you po. Talagang exceptional play for today. Yun na lang muna right here. Balik sa inyo, Anton and Michelle. Hindi As lang... a traveler. <laughs> Anton, saan ka pa nag-travel recently? Ako sa Baguio lang. Wala, ano, well, I, I can't even give you an answer to that. Parang Batangas na nga <laughs> Wala, dito pa rin tayo sa Manila. Pero, yep, this is uh, another win para sa EAC Lady Generals. And despite 
the whopping number of errors, you they were able to offset that with the attacks. Talagang nangibabaw yung attacks nila, which is a uh, a very different nung pinakita nila nung first set dahil yung uh, Lady Knights naman ang bumida sa atake pero yung kanilang aces Anton seven aces and hindi pa counted dyan yung mga magagandang serves nila na ang balik sa kanila ay free ball both teams did really good with attacking with blocking pero yung digs din you know we have to commend both teams both liberos for the amazing defense that we've seen both at the net and on the floor for today's match all right, so we have another player with uh, our other courtside reporter, Chloe Carrillo, and uh, she's the backup setter of uh, Formento. We have Georgina Loot right now with Chloe. Yes, Anton, I'm with Georgina Loot, but we're gonna call her George. That's her nickname. Hi, George. Kamusta naman? Kamusta ang pagkapanalo natin? Hello po. Um, sobrang saya po. Sobrang uh, fulfilling kasi yung knowing yung pinagdaanan namin. Tsaka super... Um, parang late po kami nag-bloom sa season na to. Mm. So, yun po. And coming off the bench, kamusta naman yung feeling na after all that, after the first set, ang lakas ng comeback nyo, how's that feeling? Para po sa amin kasi, um, sinisimulan po namin yung laban with enjoyment. Tapos susundan po nung parang um, pagiging natural na lang po sa court namin. Yun po. At kitang-kita nga natin sa laro nyo ngayong araw. At George, matanong kita, mahilig ka ba sa Instagram? Mahilig ka ba mag-post at mag-picture? Sa Instagram po, hindi po masyadong active. Pero sa sa ensayo ibang... lang pwede maging active. Ayan, tamang-tama tama po ang mindset natin. Coach Rod, naririnig nyo ba yan? <laughs> Pero pupunta nga tayo sa first photo ng Instagram mo at explain Yay! natin kung ano nga ba ang story behind your Instagram okay, post. Po. Ay, wow! Very... Ah, I love the view. I love Ayan the view, post. George. So, saan banda yan? Describe ko lang. Sa yeah. ano po yan? Sa Iloilo po. So, anong tawag sa ganyang view? Parang infinity something. Infinity pool. Yun, yeah. parang ganun po. Parang over, maano mo yung overview nung mountain after nung swimming pool po. So, wala lang. Parang required lang kami magpicture na nakatalikod lahat magkakapatid. <laughs> yes, and kita, ang kinas ng back and very yeah. perfect naman ng photo. So, are you uh, are you a fan of swimming? Mahilig ka ba mag-swimming at mag sa mga ganyang areas? Yes po, lalo na yung mga local, um, local yung pinapunta pa namin, Cebu, Iloilo, ganun po. Okay. After the season, ano yung unang gusto mong puntahan na location? Uh, gusto ko pong bumalik sa Cebu sa province po ng lola ko. Yes. And magsiswimming rin ba doon? Yes. Yes, magsiswimming ulit si George. Now, our second photo. Ano kaya ang ating second photo from your Instagram? Ay, ang cute. Ah, uh, yan po. Oh, can you describe the people in the photo? So, yan po yung first mountain climbing namin mm. with my cousins po, tsaka isa ko pong sister. Was this before the, the pandemic? Before po, mga mm. parang five to six years ago pa po. Oh, very active pala talaga ang lifestyle yes, mo, George. Po. So, how did you get into mountain climbing naman? Actually, parang yung... Niyaya lang po talaga ako ng pinsan ko. So, yun. Go na go lang kasi wala pa naman pong ensayo. Parang pahinga po namin yan. Mm, pero, would you go back to mountain climbing? Would you do yes. it again? Yes, po. With your cousins ulit. Sino yes. gusto mo makasama? Sa teammates mo ngayon, sino yung mga gusto mo makasama maka-mountain climbing? Mayroon ba ang mga very active rin dyan? Uh, mahirap pumili, so mas masaya po kung kompleto kaming umakyat sa bundok. Ayan na nga, naririnig natin ang EAC magma-mountain climbing <laughs> sila after this season. Pero now, our third photo naman. And our... Th wow! Oh, yan, yan. I love it. Uh, Multi-talented. Please explain this. We want to hear more about this, George. Wow. <laughs> Very, yes, <laughs> nainig po natin ang teammates na tuwang-tuwa po tayo sa photo na to. George, what is this photo? What? Ang galing. Ikaw gumawa ng makeup so, po dyan? So, uh, for the content po talaga niyan, parang uh, pandemic lang po yan. So, bored kami ng ate ko na nagbe-makeup. Mm. So, ako lang yung parang, uy, wala tayong magawa. Makeup pa mo ako, ganun. So, yun. So, ikaw yung naging canvas ng okay. ate mo. So, your sister is very into makeup. Ikaw naman, George, very kikay ka rin ba? Or napunta lahat kay ate? Kay ate po. <laughs> kay ate napunta yes, lahat. Po. Pero you enjoy naman those sisterly bonding. Okay. Sino ba yung namimiss mo? Ikaw, kung may message ka sa ate mo ngayon, ano yun? 
Hi, Tila. I miss you. Makeup na after bubble. Hey. Yan, makikita nga natin yung mga next post ni George. Ano kaya ang magiging makeup sa kanya? Pero before anything else, we would like you to give a message sa lahat ng mga gusto mong batiin ngayon. Um, hello po sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa EAC General, sa lahat po, pati po sa coach namin, uh, especially sa family ko. Thank you sa pag-suporta and pinabati ko po lahat ng teammates ko as well as yung family rin po nila. And yung friends ko po sa labas na sumusuporta, patuloy na sumusuporta kahit um, malayo po sa isa't isa. So, yun lang po. Thank you so much, George, and congratulations to the EAC Lady Generals. Ngayon, balik muna kay Anton at Michelle. Thank you po. Michelle, comments on that last IG post of George. I love it. I love seeing the Kikai side of our volleyball players. Ikaw alam mo naman sobrang Kikai ko, di ba? Mm -hmm. And I like seeing na yung mga ibang athletes din natin, di ba? Sometimes kasi sa sobrang pagod, pawis na pawis ka lagi. You need a break. And you need to put on makeup. <laughs> Feel good. <laughs> All right, before we continue, itong mga masasayang usapan natin with our players, balikan muna natin yung team standings just to see where everybody is at right now. CSB is still the only unbeaten team. And yesterday, to be honest, I was thinking about how San Sebastian would attack the Lady Blazers, but CSB just proving to be too much. They swept the Lady Stags, who are now at 4-2. So I'm I'm anticipating a good match. I, I'm crossing my fingers for a good match between CSB and Arellano when they face off. I agree with you, Anton. Because Arellano pataas nare ng laro, eh. You know, with that winning streak, that's why they are at six and one. Medyo dikit yung gitna natin with San Sebastian and then yung tied standings ng JRU, ng Lyceum, ng Mapua, and we have San Beda and the bottom and Perpetual. And today. EAC is two and five, coming from one and five, and Letran naman falling down at one and six. So mathematically, hindi pa out itong uh, EAC because if they win their remaining two matches, they will have four wins, which is identical to what San Sebastian has. So tama lang na maging uh, manatiling positibo itong EAC, and if they can continue to. Well, if, if Kat and Krisha can continue to lead the way with, with the points, who knows? Pero yung, yung tanong dito talaga is, uh, sino ang magiging third and fourth? Because we know CSB and Arellano, they, they pretty much have a tight hold on the top two spots. Ang hirap sabihin at this point in the game, Anton, because paiba-iba yung mga pinapakita ng ating mga kopunan. Yung iba, pataas. Yung iba naman from their first game, medyo bumababa yung performance. So you never know when a team or a player can break out or can uh, change the game that we're watching right now in this season's NCAA. So we're really excited to see how each game will unfold, how each player will also, what each player can bring to the table. And uh, kaya dapat pa talaga yung mga games natin. Bawat game abangan ng ating mga kapuso. It seems that every match, there is a new player mm -hmm. na nagpapakilala. Like for Letran, it was CK Calixto. Today, for me, it was Jaja Villena. I agree with you, Anton. And she is someone that you also have to watch out for pagkalaban ng EAC. Yeah, it wasn't just Reyes and Almazan today. Villena had 12 points. And right now, she is standing at courtside with Sofia Rodelas. Maraming salamat, Anton. Talagang tama kayo, no? Jaja Villena is definitely one to watch out for dito sa ating NCAA. Pero right now, andito tayo. Kasama natin siya. Gusto kita tanongin, Jaja. You've been doing moves on the court. You, you're going left and right. How did you feel na talagang you did a great job on today's game? Uh, ano lang, ginagawa lang po namin yung mga tinuturo ni Coach especially mm -hmm. ganyan. Tapos, tapang lang po para... Yun nga, ma-express pa po namin yung gusto namin ipakita sa laro, gano'n. Mm. Enjoy lang po, pinaka-una talaga. Mm. Pero ano nararamdaman mo na, ano, alam mo, pa kalawang panalo talagang this is momentous for you guys. Anong nararamdaman mo ngayon? Sobrang saya po talaga, mm -hmm. sobra po. Kasi hindi naman po namin expecto na ganito ang mangyayari sa amin. Tapos pinakita po ng mga teammates ko yung kakayahan po namin para makuha yung pan mm -hmm. pangalawang panalo po namin. Nalaga naman, so, ang dami nating natututunan sa ating mga players today. Pero speaking of marami pang natututunan, tinignan ulit natin ang Instagram ni Jaja kung ano nga ba ang mga laman o mga kwento ngayon sa kanyang Instagram. Now, let's see the photo number one. Ah. Wow! 
Wow, beach talaga namang beach bod, uh, ready to go. Anong meaning or when mo tinik tong photo na to? Anong parang uh, thought process natin nung pinosatin ka? Ano po? Yan po yung preparation po sana namin last season ng beach bali po. Mm. Apo. Oh, ano po, ganda lang po ng view, kaya nag-take po kami ng pictures, ganyan. No? Mm, ganda ang view. Ikaw yung oh, maganda po. na view. Dapat ganon, di ba? Opo, oh, dapat flex din po siya. <laughs> na, 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 let's look to another photo ni Jaja kung ano pa nga ba ang in-store sa kanyang Instagram. Wow! Ay. Hashtag throwback. O, sino ah. itong mga kasama mo? Ano tong photo Yan na po to? yung mga solid kong mga pinsan. Ha? Yan oh, po. Ah. Mga solid yung na pinsan. Yung nasa sako po, ako po yan. Ha? Ha, saan? Yung nasa saks po, yung nasa sako. Wow! <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> bakit? Ano, anong nangyari kung bakit ka nandun sa sako na yun? Yan po yung time na naglalaro po kami nung sa sako po, yung race. Oh, sa race. Okay, nag sa uh -huh. race po yan. Ha? Uh -huh. Eh, ako po yung nandun. Ay, parang ititinda ka na nila, no? Pero ito mga pinsan mo, sino-sino ba itong mga kasama mo right now dun sa photo? Yung may ang ate ko po nandun din. Mm -hmm. Si Nicole, si Liza, si Casey, si Marian, si Kuya, yung pa. Tapos uh -huh. ako po yung nasa. Ang dami mong pinsan, no? Talagang it's namin. a whole family bonding. Yes, now let's po. go to another photo ni Jaja sa Instagram. Wow! Hi, ito yung sinasabi mo sa akin kanina eh. Baka lumabas yung aso mo dito. A anong pangalan nitong aso mo? Si Beb. Um, anong name niya? Beb Lupi po. Blue. Lupi. Lupi. Bebe Lupi po. Lupi. Si Lupi po. So anong, anong, Lupi. anong, 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 anong nangyari nung tinik mo tong photo na to? Pinapakain mo ba siya? Ano to? Hindi po. Parang ginaganyo ko lang para tumin po sa camera ganun. Ah. Camera ready naman pala to. Yes. Kailan mo siya like naging ano, nakuha mo yung aso mo? Matagal na ba siya ano? Ano lang pa. Magwa one year na po. Yes. One year, no? Yes. Talaga naman, we love uh, posting our fur pets online. Kahit ako din, pinopost ko yung aso ko. Talaga naman, namimiss na natin sila. Sobra Pero po. ayun nga, no, Jaja, meron ka bang gustong batiin right at home mga pamilya natin dyan na nanonood right now here sa NCAA? Una-una uh, po, pinabati ko pang inay na nasa Dubai. Ay, Thank you po sa pagsuporta sa akin. Ang tatay, mga kapatid ko po, Nino, Karang Wine, na nasa Taiwan. Ay po. Especially po sa coach ko po nung high, high school, si Coach Ray po. Ay, coach. Tapos, mga teammates ko po, kay coach po ngayon. Tapos, yung, yung inspiration ko po, hi sa'yo. <laughs> may hidden inspiration! <laughs> may hidden inspiration oh. talaga. Kalmado, kalmado. <laughs> May hidden inspiration talaga namang pinabati ni Jaja kung nasaan man sa mundo kaya natin i-reach yan. No? Once again, maraming salamat Jaja. It Thank has you. been a pleasure getting to know you. Yun na lang muna, right here. Balik sa inyo, Anton and Michelle. Well, that's the first time I heard somebody refer to her special someone as an yung inspiration ko. <laughs> Sabi ng mga ibang players ng EAC, sana all! <laughs> <laughs> Iba talaga yung mga naririnig natin from our players. Just another entertainment yeah. for all of our viewers. Hindi lang volleyball magagaling ang ating mga atleta, kundi sa pagpapatawa. <laughs> They're on a high right now. I mean, you gotta give it to them and, and we've gotta give it to them as well. Sharing their fun side, the other side to these players because as we have been mentioning, it's not just about the game. That's only one aspect of their lives and those are the kind of stories and the personalities that we want to share dito sa ating coverage ng NCAA. EAC, as I said, it's not over for them yet. They are still mathematically in the hunt for the Final Four. So, ang importante para sa kanila is just to stay positive and to yep. continue playing the way they have been playing, especially in these past two matches. And to win. They mm -hmm. have to yes, win yes, every yes. game na makakaharap nila. So, napaka-importante ng bawat match-up na mapapanood natin in this latter part of the season. So, abangan nyo yan. Huwag po kayong kukurap ng ating mga laro. Huwag nyo pong papalampasin ng ating mga laro because each game is a must-win for our teams at this point. Tomorrow, magpapatuloy ang ating mga laban. This is an important one, especially for the JRU Lady Bombers because as we showed you guys the team standings, they are right in the thick of things sa race to the Final Four. I'm not even sure if we're going to have a Final Four because of these CSB Lady Blazers who might turn this tournament into a stepladder semifinals. Wala pa rin silang talo. They are 6-0 right now. 
and then two teams that are also in the thick of things in the final four lpu and mapua will go to battle in our second match dito pa rin sa paco arena Tama ka dyan, Anton. Posible pa magkaroon ng step ladder. Kaya feeling ko lahat ng mga teams nakatingin din sa kung sino ang makakatalo sa CSB to avoid a step ladder and to force the NCAA into a Final Four. We have yet to see that. You know, CSB really doing consistently in all of their games, Anton. But anything is possible with, with how we've seen the past games talagang Ang daming pwedeng mangyari pa dito sa 97th season of NCAA. And while you're here with us, Michelle, I know you're preparing for the Invitational Conference with your squad. You've won many championships throughout your career. You've watched CSB here in the NCAA. What are some of the key ingredients of a championship squad? Teamwork. You know, one person, one high scorer cannot win a championship. You can probably win a few games, but to win a championship, it has to be the effort of not only the people on the court, but even your bench in practice, your coaching staff, and even yung mga inspirations mo yeah. sa likod ng uh, camera. Importante yan lahat. It has to be a, a team effort, a family effort if you want to win a championship. Well, there you have it. You've heard from Michelle Gumabao, somebody who knows the ins and outs of the game of volleyball and how to win in life as well. Pleasure working you with you again, partner. As always! And uh, good luck in the upcoming uh, Invitational. Thank you for coming back right after your Baguio bubble. Bagus mo ba tini mga teammates mo? Yung mga teammates ko sobrang kulet. I know some of them are also always watching because yeah, yeah. Uh, you know uh, a lot of them also want to be in this position, want to also be an analyst and uh, also love watching quality volleyball na meron talaga tayo dito sa ating NCAA. So continue to watch our coverage every day except Monday and Thursday. Dalawa, dalawang araw lang po yung aming rest day dito sa NCAA as we head towards the final four or the step ladder semifinals, whatever situation our tournament will be in by the time we are done with the elimination round. But as for today, we are done for today here at the Pac Arena. Maraming salamat muli sinong pananood for Michelle Gumabao, for Chloe Carino, Sofia Rodelas, and all of us from GMA Synergy. I'm Anton Ross saying we'll see you all again tomorrow para sa pagpapatuloy ng NCAA Season 97 Women's Volleyball. Stronger together, buo ang puso dito lamang po sa GTV.